Hi everybody, Pastor Mark here at Lifeline Church, and I'm here to bring you Lifeline's weekly mentoring tip. So the other day I was reading in 1 Chronicles chapter 28, and I was really struck by how much God loves us, and how much He really wants to have a close relationship with us, and how He really wants us to partner with the Holy Spirit to build something special inside of us. And as I started looking around, I saw also in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Paul says the same kind of thing, and I'm really excited about it. I want to share it with you. Hopefully you're blessed by it. So starting in 1 Chronicles chapter 28, King David is getting ready to pass the baton to his son Solomon. He's going to make him king, and he's also given him the task to build a temple for the Lord. Now this is no small task, and it required all the finest materials, and it required all the best craftsmen, and it was a big deal. And so David set him up with all these materials, and he said, go and do the work. So I'm going to pick it up from there in uh, verses 8 through 10. So now, as God, as our witness, and in the sight of all Israel, the Lord's assembly, I give you this charge. Be careful to obey all the commands of the Lord your God, so that you may continue to possess this good land and leave it to your children as a permanent inheritance. And Solomon, my son, learn to know the God of your ancestors intimately. Worship and serve him with your whole heart and a willing mind. For the Lord sees every heart and knows every plan and thought. If you seek him, you will find him. But if you forsake him, he will reject you forever. So take this seriously. The Lord has chosen you to build the temple as his sanctuary. Be strong and do the work. So this is so much like the way God wants to, wants to build something special inside of us. A place inside of you and me where God can be worshipped. And really not just a place inside of us, but really in our whole lives and everything we do, that it be an act of worship to God. So going back to 1 Corinthians 28, it says, Obey the Lord, know God intimately, worship and serve Him with your whole heart and with a willing mind. If you seek him, you will find him, and be strong, and do the work. Now let's see how this ties in with what Paul's saying in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. I'm going to paraphrase. Paul says that we are God's building, and with Jesus Christ as our firm foundation, we are given the option to build with a variety of materials. We could build with gold, silver, and jewels, or we can build with wood, hay, or straw. But at the time of judgment, some of that's going to be burned up if it's not quality. So what does that mean for us? Where does the quality material come into play? That's quality time in the Bible. That's quality time in prayer and listening for the voice of the Lord. Being of service in the local church. All those kinds of things. Or better yet, let's go back to what David had to say to his son Solomon. Obey the Lord. Know God intimately. Worship and serve Him with your whole heart and a willing mind. If you seek Him, you will find Him. And be strong and do the work. we got to do some work, guys, but we can partner with the Holy Spirit, and He makes us strong. We're able to do it with Him. Let's pray. I hope, I hope this blessed you guys. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray that as we go out into our daily lives, that we would rely on your Holy Spirit to build us up, so that we can build something special inside of us, a place where you can be worshipped, a place where you can dwell. Lord, we want to make you proud. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen.